ka ba uuwi? Ha? Dito ka matutulog? Ha? <laughs> I don't think like that, she says to me I can't help but feel the subtleties So if it all expires, I guess the date's not what it seems But I can't help it, boy, she says to me I'm not sure I truly gave my best Made a home but still feel like a guest And if I've made just one mistake It's not speaking with my chest and Maybe I'll just cry a little less The tension headaches always get to me Often leave me dazed and wondering do you mind if we rewind? Cause my mind's on other things But I'm not sure you'd find them interesting And maybe I should practice how I feel Instead of trying to reinvent the wheel I know I overcomplicate But simplicity's surreal doesn't seem to me too big a deal I'm sorry if this all feels like a game Maybe this whole quarantine's to blame And I don't know if you still love me But I still feel the same For what it's worth, that's how I feel today
좀 쉬지 뭐. 소중 호텔이 연락해서 룸 하나 오픈해줘. 지훈이 만나셨어요? 만났지. 그냥 조용히 지나가시죠. 수연이 똘끼 있는 거 귀엽잖아요. 그건 똘끼. Funny how the rest gon' come and come in Funny how you back for the love and I've been I got one too many tricks up my sleeve I'm lost in need Overdose of empathy, my pops in me More screenshots in me, the streets are free Go ahead and take from me Feeling right, feeling right, out of line Gotta hit my boy Ricky for the way up the time Proud of driven, but it's nothing like the climb and grind Take the time, tripping over space and time My mind in line, spinning like a god of time My modest mind, speaking from the heart of kind A way to find another way to pass the time I made my mind a station kind of race Yeah, running, running, got me gunning, gunning Old school cat, got me stunning, stunning Funny how the rats gon' come in, come in Funny how you back for the loving, loving I got one too many tricks on my sleeve I mustn't leave, overdose of empathy My pops in me, more scream shots in me the streets are free, go ahead and take from me Break a mirror, fight fire with fear Kicking the highest gear, you're on the highest tier And when you're contemplating by the nation breaking Don't erase a fight, we'll take a say And take the middle road So welcome to uh, our coffee nook tour and um, we decided to do this because uh, one of our subscribers suggested that we do a tour of our coffee station so here it is so let's start with this one um, this is a pour over coffee maker um, uh, Pia is um, a coffee enthusiast and um, yeah but when we went to Japan she really planned to get one of these so it's by Hario and it specifically came with this um, cotton mesh filter if you call it that yeah so this one is um, a teapot it's uh, made of cast iron we got it from Sakiji market the same um, as the pour over coffee maker so it also has a filter to catch the tea leaves so this is some um, another coffee drip that we have it's um, made of ceramic and we got it online our, um, coffee drip and we got it from uh, one of the local coffee shops here and it's by Kalita so we move on to our uh, mocha pots we have three so this one we got from a thrift shop and this um, size makes about two cups of coffee it's uh, very cheap but it has um, a very uh, heavy bottom and um, it's made in Italy here so I think she thought it was really worth buying it okay. this one this was our very first um, mocha pot 
helped and um, she also got it online um, very cheap <laughs> and uh, because we're trying to build our coffee station coffee nook that's why it's you know we got it for our collection this we got it online and this size also makes um, two cups and it looks very pretty so let's go now to the coffee grinders so um, this is Yama it's also a Japanese brand and um, it's from Alternative Brewing um, Australia and this is one of her recent um, purchases so this is um, our next grinder and um, it's from Pian's Kitchen and um, it's made of alloy steel and it's quite heavy as well and you can open it at the bottom um, so it has a dial and um, this dial uh, can help you achieve um, how coarse you want your coffee beans to be so, yeah. So we move on to this one. This is a pour over kettle and uh, it was my gift to Pia um, for her birthday a few years ago because um, yeah, she has been a coffee enthusiast for quite a while and um, she was very particular with the uh, kind of spout. Um, yeah, the gooseneck, gooseneck spout um, for making her drip coffee in the morning. Yeah. It even has a, um, how do you say that? Um, me yeah, you measure the temperature. temperature of the water. This is also um, from Pian's Kitchen and um, because I love matcha green tea and um, you can use this to whisk it's a bamboo whisk to whisk um, uh, matcha or the green tea powder okay now we move on to these um, coffee beans um, so Pia normally buys uh, two kinds of coffee beans sometimes she mixes them um, according to her mood um, during the day um, so this one Havana it's a um, local uh, New Zealand coffee brand and it's um, specifically from Wellington and then this one blue bottle um, we discovered it from um, Japanese vloggers um, and they have uh, blue bottle coffee shops um, in Japan and but this one we ordered from the States so yeah all right, so let's move on. Um, Pia loves coffee. I love coffee too, but I also um, like uh, drinking tea using tea leaves. So this one is um, Sencha Kakagawa. So it's basically green tea um, and it's um, very potent and strong and I love strong teas. So this is hojicha. It's uh, roasted green tea leaves and it tastes um, very different from this one. But this one reminds us of the first bag of um, roasted green tea leaves we got from Kyoto. And um, yeah, if you have a hot cup of hojicha tea, oh, it's very relaxing. We really like it. Okay, so tea two is a brand i think it's an australian brand um and this is a gift from a friend um, and its flavor is strawberry it's quite nice too so this is one of our recent purchases as well it's a um, for brewing tea um, so we normally use this to um, brew the sencha the green tea leaves or the hojicha and it's um, by Kinto, Japan. Um, and it retains heat. So it's really it's really a good teapot. It also has um, a mesh, of course, to filter the tea leaves. Yeah. Okay, let's check out the ones underneath the rack. Um, so those... These ones you can see are um, paper filters for Pia's coffee and of course um, she uses them for those drips on top. You have either the ceramic or this 
um, stainless steel drip. Okay, so this one is a, um, a milk jug for when we like frothing our milk. Yeah, and then all right, so um, you can see um, the coils. So this is a single one, this is a double one, and that's a triple one. So it really depends on the um, thickness of the froth that um, you would like for your milk. All right, this is also another um, tea filter. And um, this was part of the gift uh, that came with T2. So yeah, we use this also. Um, once in a while So you have this one in the fridge and um, Pia printed this one and sometimes you know during her OC days She likes to be exact with things. So that's why she also purchased this one So it's um, a scale for when she likes to measure how much um, coffee beans she needs um, When she makes her coffee all right so we got this one from um, Kmart and uh, I used to store my Nespresso pots in um, a glass jar but um, I decided this is more you know organized and it doesn't really squish the pots so so sometimes we also buy instant coffee, uh, but uh, basically we buy this one for um, visitors sometimes um, or for a friend who loves uh, dropping by here and um, loves this type of coffee. But it's just funny because we store this um, somewhere where it's accessible to our cats and look at the, um, how do you say, the bite marks. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sasha, silly Sasha. Okay, so let's go to the Nespresso station. Um, so Pia likes drip coffee and um, I like mine from Nespresso. Well, I tried different um, products as well that we can, or different pods that we can use for the Nespresso machine. This one, because we accumulated so many air points, um, yeah, we got it from the air points mall. And um, we used to have a coffee machine before, but it didn't quite um, achieve the taste that I want, but this one does. So yeah, that's why we got this one and um, we're lucky that we didn't have to um, purchase it from um, our own um, money. money. <laughs> it's from the airport small. <laughs> yeah, so this is the, as you all know, this is the frother and yeah. Okay, so we both um, got them as a combo. So I don't need to explain much because it's pretty straightforward. And then the last one is my Kinto bottle. It's also um, the same brand as the teapot. And um, I got this because um, especially uh, just um, this winter time, um, I needed hot, a hot drink. Um, for work and this one retains heat for as long as six hours so it's really really it's a really really good um, brand and bottle I love this one all right so that wraps up our um, coffee nook tour um, we would like to um, uh, mention um, this subscriber so um, She's also a YouTube vlogger and her name is Morena Trooper and she was the one who suggested um, this tour. So thanks to you um, that we have another special Pian's Kitchen content. Alright, so see you guys um, in our next vlog. So this one is a painting of my mom and such a beautiful sunset painting and she did this a few years ago and we added um, uh, it to this to our coffee station um, so it adds to that personality to the character of this look yeah there you go oops Sasha are you hungry? you're always hungry 
They're always hungry. Hmm? They're always hungry. Sasha!